Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk a little bit of mountain weather. We've got three storm systems lined up. The first one's happening now, all of them entering uh, the picture from the Pacific Northwest with this atmospheric river connection. Um, so there's two main surges, one happening now and then another one, 11-3, 11-4, and then I'll show you there's kind of a trailing weak element to this to this atmospheric river. I'll show you that coming up. And, and we're going to get this flow pattern out of the west-northwest that does favor the Tetons for some nice snow. So we'll look at that as well. I want to show you what's happening right now. This is up in Big Sky, Montana. And this is uh, all part of this first storm system with the flow coming down out of the west-northwest. And yeah, I'm forecasting snow and Big Sky, some accumulation. More down the road, though, in Jackson Hole and across the high Tetons. I mean, this is still that time of the year where you got to be up mid-mountain or higher in most of these places to get the biggest snow accumulations. But nice to see that at this point. Here's the setup right now. So one area of low pressure there, another one right here, and another one right here. So a trio of low pressures. This is water vapor imagery. Um, the reds and the, uh, the oranges represent drier air aloft. And so then your moisture, let's use lime today. This is all the pineapple connection anyway. And uh, there's your flow. So everything's just following that jet, like an escort of moisture into the Pacific Northwest and uh, BC. And then we're seeing overrunning snow through Banff and Montana and uh, Wyoming. And again, snow levels are going to be pretty high with this initial blast. But let me show you what um, um, let me show you what the forecast is. So forecast radar, the satellite. There's your current picture. Here we are through the night, so it continues to snow. Big sky down through the Tetons, and then that storm will exit. Now a little bit of snow continues tomorrow afternoon in the Tetons. Here comes the next storm, Pacific Northwest, BC. You can see what happens, very similar to this. There comes the flow by um, the 4th and into the 5th, down across the Tetons. Here comes the third storm system into the Pacific Northwest. This one's a little bit colder, so this one's going to have lower snow levels in the Pacific Northwest in BC, which will help the snow accumulation immensely. Um, and, and you're looking at snow in lower elevation, elevations through Idaho and Montana, another shot of snow for uh, Wyoming and the Tetons. And then that storm begins to transition away. But that's by the 7th, Tuesday of next week. Now between Tuesday and Wednesday, that storm as it exits will probably drag a cold front down through the Wasatch and probably parts of Colorado. Not looking at big accumulation in either place next week, but it will definitely cool things down with a few inches of accumulation as it looks um, right now. All right, let me show you what the um, <clears throat> the jet's going to look like. Or let me just show you what the um, the forecast uh, IVT, the integrated vapor transport. So the atmospheric river, you can see the surge happening now. And then the next spike comes on the third into the fourth. This is the Pacific Northwest. And then behind it's kind of a trailing low level weak AR on five, six. So that'll account for all three storm systems. And then it kind of dries up. You can see that by the eighth and the ninth, the moisture content dries up. There's not as much IVT transport. Um, so the jet on the fifth is impressive with this, uh, this second surge of AR moisture. You can see it's got a powerful orientation, just like a conveyor belt bringing that moisture in, and then the flow down west-northwest into the Tetons. Um, further down the road, this is uh, late on the 10th, um, a whole different pattern by the 10th. You can see an area of low pressure being coddled there through California. Right now, it doesn't look big. It doesn't look big at this point, but there is a dip in the jet stream by the 10th. All right, numbers. Um, so through the 5th, took these down a little bit across the Tetons, but still looking for 6 to 10, um, and a few in Big Sky. And the rest is going to be at high elevations of uh, BC and Banff. Second period, 11.6 through 11.10, a little further transitioning of the jet, bring some snow down through, and it's light through the Wasatch, through Colorado, very light. Um, in fact, really not looking for anything big. It, you know, moderate accumulations up in Wyoming um, in parts of the Pacific Northwest. But uh, that's the pattern, 11.6 through 11.10. Thanks, guys, for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.